The U.S. Navy has deployed an operational laser dazzler and one of its active Arleigh Burke class destroyers. USS Dewey has got a counter unmanned aerial system, CUAS system, named Optical Dazzling Interdictor Navy or ODIN. As per reports, the installation was done in November of last year, though it has been revealed only now. Viewers may note that ODIN is the technological successor of the Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, which was a 30 kilowatt laser that was installed on amphibious transport dock USS Ponce in 2014. Officials indicate that the two systems are to be installed aboard destroyers in the near term. Going from an approved idea to installation in two and a half years, Odin's install on Dewey will be the first operational employment of the standalone system that functions as a dazzler. The news release stated, the system allows the Navy to rapidly deploy an important new capability to the Navy's surface force in combating unmanned aircraft systems UAS, threats. James Gertz, Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Research, Development and Acquisition, said in a statement, this is a great example of our organic talent at the warfare centers all working together with ship's company to deliver a system which will provide game-changing capability. Bravo Zulu to the entire Odin team on being mission-focused and delivering lethal capability to the warfighter. In this video, Defense Updates reports on the deployment of Optical Dazzling Interdictor Navy Odin, on USS Dewey. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. USS Dewey DDG-105 is an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer in the United States Navy. Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi mission destroyers capable of anti aircraft warfare, AAW, anti submarine warfare, ASW, and anti surface warfare, ASUW. USS Dewey was built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 6th of March 2010. USS Dewey, being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet or 155 meters and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS Dewey has a speed of 30 plus knots or 55 plus kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles, about 8,100 kilometers. Drone technology has become very advanced and relatively cheap. A swarm of drone armed with explosives has the potential to cause a lot of damage. The conflicts in Iraq and Syria have shown that this kind of capability is within reach of even non-state actors. In January 2018, a mass drone attack was witnessed on Russia's main outposts in Syria, the Kamemim Air Base and the naval base in Tartus. Though the damage from the attack was insignificant as per Russia, it clearly displayed the potential of drones in warfare. U.S. President Donald Trump revealed on the 19th of July 2019 that the USS Boxer downed an Iranian drone. As per him, the drone came within 1,000 yards of the U.S. Navy ship and ignored multiple calls to stand down. Mr. Trump, speaking at the White House, had said the drone was threatening the safety of the ship and the ship's crew in the Strait of Hormuz and was immediately destroyed. On September 14, 2019, facilities of Saudi Arabia's oil company, Aramco, located in the east of the country, came under attack. As per reports, the raid began around 4 a.m. and 18 drones, as well as seven cruise missiles, were used in the attack. The world's biggest oil refinery near the city of Abqiq and a refinery near Karais 
where Saudi's second largest oil field is located, were targeted. The damage was significant, and this caused a spike in global oil prices. USS Dewey, like the other 66 Arleigh Burke class destroyers and 22 Ticonderoga class cruisers, is packed with a powerful weapon set. The defensive weapons consist of the following 1. Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile ESSM, is the primary air defense system. It has a range of 10 nautical miles or 19 kilometers and speed of Mach 3.5. Arleigh Burke has 96 cell Mark 41. Vertical Launch System VLS, whereas Ticonderoga class has 122 of these. Each can be quad-packed with ESSM. 2. RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missiles is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile meant for point defense. It has a speed in excess of Mach 2 and has a range of 9 km or 5.6 miles. Three. Phalanx Close-In Weapon System is deployed for last-ditch defense against airborne threats. It uses an automated 20mm Gatling gun, which is capable of firing up to 50 rounds per second. But these weapons could be overwhelmed by a drone swarm, since the warship could run out of ammunition. Laser Dazzler uses intense directed radiation to temporarily disable its target with flash blindness. Lasers have some very important advantages. The speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant as traditional air defense systems can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats. They are silent and invisible, which makes them very much suitable when it comes to taking out targets discreetly. They are also so much cheaper and could cost as low as a dollar per shot. Odin's development, testing, and production were done by U.S. Navy subject matter experts at Naval Surface Warfare Center NSWC, Dahlgren Division in support of Program Executive Office Integrated Warfare Systems PEO, IWS. The capabilities and specifications of ODIN have been closely guarded. The officials didn't provide any specific information. It is interesting to note that a picture published on the drive in November showed a small turret mounted on the ship's deckhouse, which seems to be ODIN. The U.S. Navy's FY21 budget request includes $34 million for ODIN and will be used to continue procuring and installing several units throughout the fleet. The installation of the USS Dewey is the first of at least eight planned installations according to the service's fiscal year 2021 budget justification documents. It is important to note that another system set to be installed on a destroyer by 2021 is the High Energy Laser and Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, or Helios. Helios is a prototype developed by Lockheed Martin Corp with a reported range of about 5 nautical miles. That system is set to have a 60 kilowatt laser, but could eventually increase to 150 kilowatts. The U.S. Navy has spent the past several years experimenting with a variety of directed energy weapons. Operational deployment of ODIN in USS Dewey is a great step for the U.S. Navy. As laser technology matures, it could be a good counter against drone threat. It is to be noted that laser is not the only system being developed to meet emerging threats. The Congressional Research Service said in a May report that the U.S. Navy is developing three new ship-based weapons lasers, an electromagnetic railgun, and a gun-launched guided projectile. As per the report, these weapons could substantially improve the ability of surface ships to defend against small surface craft, unmanned aerial vehicles, and eventually anti-ship cruise missiles. The report states, any one of these new weapons, if successfully developed and deployed, might be regarded as a game-changer for defending Navy surface ships against enemy missiles. The research service noted that the U.S. Navy has made substantial progress toward deploying lasers on ships. 
Focus on lasers indicates the U.S. Navy is actively working to transition to non-kinetic weapons. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.